So we are fortunate to have Andrew and Corbin here from Obundo. So Obundo are a, um, a well, an e-commerce agency uh, from across the pond. Um, well, across the pond from myself anyway. Um, and they work on many, many great big commerce build outs, um, including headless sites as well. Um, totally should check out their work. They've got an interesting start to the company as well. Is that not right, Andrew? Yeah, so I actually used to work at Big Commerce, worked there back in the day in 2013 and 2014 in Austin. And um, yeah, so when I, when I was there, I realized there was a need for an agency that just focused on design and dev for Big Commerce. So that's all we've been doing since 2014. Cool, I do. Um, so you guys are going to talk to us about solving uh, B2B needs, is that right? Yep. Sure. Perfect. I'll let you take over the screen then and get started. Sounds great. Uh, of course, there's the banner in the way. Hold on. There we go. All right. Excellent. Well, great to be here. And thanks for the invite, Tony and Andrew. Thanks for putting everything on. Um, my name is Andrew Riggins. I'm based in Portland, Oregon, but right now I'm actually in Texas uh, visiting some relatives. So that's why the sun is, in, is increasingly bright on my face because <laughs> it is a cloudless day today out here and in Texas. So yeah, we... Um, like I said before, we're a big commerce based or a big commerce focused design and dev agency. Been working on big commerce sites exclusively since 2014. So we do everything in the big commerce ecosystem from small fixes for themes to larger projects doing complex front end builds, all the way to making middleware to connect BC with other applications to making apps to the app store. So if it's possible, big commerce, you know, we, we'll take it on. Um, and we have been noticing a larger trend towards B2B clients for big commerce in the last few years. And I think it has a multitude of factors. One, that BC sales has been pushing to get more of those clients. I think those clients are also seeing the writing on the wall that, hey, it's 2022. Why am I taking orders over the phone um, or taking orders via fax or email or things like that? Let's have a website. Or maybe these companies already have a B2C um, side of things and their B2B is super manual. So why do we not merge them together and have a more B2C experience, I'm mean, sorry, a more B2C experience for our B2B clients. So we're gonna show you a couple of examples of sites we've worked on where it's kind of a multitude of, of um, points along that spectrum. So some of our clients who are B2B don't care at all about the design. They just want functionality. They just want easy way for their, their customers to purchase large orders. Um, some of them want more of a B2C experience where it looks really nice. I feel like a B2C customer, but I'm buying a large order. Um, and then some of them are just, and the last one we'll show is kind of more of a, a really unique situation where it's pure play B2B, looks like B2C, but there actually is no checkout, but we are using big commerce and headless and we're using the shopping cart system as a, as a lead funnel to, to funnel basically the shopping cart to a salesperson at the end to close that sale. So three very different examples that we're going to go through. Um, before I kick it over to Corbin, I'll give a short intro for him. So he's our lead developer. He's based out of Seattle. Um, and uh, yeah, he's going to kick it off. He's done a lot of the coding himself and a lot of these examples. So I'll kick it over to Corbin to show our first one here. Oh, and I totally didn't click uh, the in presentation and give my whole slides here. So <laughs> here's our little ditties of our slides. The designer put together. He'd be mad if I didn't uh, show these off. You know, got a couple of examples of our work, of course. You know, some apps that we've done. So you know, put those in there and uh, kick it over to Corbin. Awesome. Let me get my screen up here too. So our first example is a B2C store or B2B store, sorry. Uh, they're a big parent company to a bunch of boutique um, fitness studios. So they're Exponential Fitness and they franchise out um, like Club Pilates, Pure Bar, Cycle Bar, Stride, a bunch of individual chains uh, throughout the country and world here. And they needed a, a mall kind of to serve their, their franchisees um, to buy branded merchandise from Exponential. So they'll buy anything from shirts and hats and jackets that they sell in their storefront, all the way to equipment that they need to outfit their stores. It can all be bought through the Exponential Parent Company. 
So they kind of needed a way to make it easier for those folks to purchase what they need and in large quantities. So we have a sandbox here and it has some of that functionality. And the first thing is that it is behind a paywall or a login wall so that, you know, they're not really trying to sell to the public. They're trying to sell to those that have a specific login and customer group. So we'll go ahead and log into that. And while Carver's doing that, I'll just chime in on this real quick. Yeah, just this site, purely functionality. <laughs> this client did not want any design. So for those of you familiar with Cornerstone, you'll see this is base, base, base Cornerstone. So don't judge us on any design stuff. We have some much nicer looking sites coming up. This one is just pure play functionality. Yep. Um, so here on the category page, we integrated a bulk order form. And because these folks, you know, they're buying a bunch of t-shirts, a bunch of different sizes. They're buying um, a bunch of equipment. So instead of going to each product individually, selecting a size, add the cart, and so on and so on, we kind of made a bulk order form form here. That first off checks the inventory of the store that Exponential has and determine whether or not things are in stock and it'll display the stock level or hide it completely if there's no stock. And as well, it won't display stock if it's a non-track item. And we set it up so you can either, if you just wanna buy one product, you can click the quantity, add it to cart, add to the cart, keep shopping. Um, but say you wanted to add, you know, one of those shirts, a few of these sizes, and you wanted to buy some of these. So what we'll do is once you select all the quantities you want, you can add all the cart. And then what that does is um, it does an initial check to make sure everything's still in stock and it puts it in the cart. But you may keep shopping and you may doing uh, going to other categories, buying other products. And there's a lot of franchisees and folks that are um, using these stores and malls. So two of those products, I added the max quantity that was in stock. And oftentimes, and this was a scenario for the company, that's why they came to us with this need, is someone will buy out, you know, maybe there's five shirts left and someone buys three of them. And now there's not enough. So when you go to check out in your checkout, because you haven't really claimed that stock yet, uh, BigCommerce kind of just comes up with just like a normal message or like a generic, you know, something's wrong with your cart, something's out of stock. Um, and when you potentially have hundreds of items in your cart, that can take a lot of time to go through and figure out which one is um, not in the right, which one is out of stock uh, and what variant of it is out of stock. So we implemented, let me go ahead and kind of force this scenario and change the stock level. So we'll go to checkout now. And it's gonna catch that the stock level has changed and that we have two options here, or two products that are now out of stock or not unable to purchase. And what's nice is it'll list out a whole list grid of what the item is, what you had in your cart and what it's currently available. And then you can either delete it from your cart if you don't want to buy it at all or you can adjust the quantity. What that'll do is it'll drop your five to the four, whatever the available amount is. And you can do that for a single product, delete, adjust, or we have it so you can just adjust them all. So if you see there's an issue there and you still want at least as much as you can get, you can just adjust all, it'll go through and change it all for you to the max that you can buy. And then you can go to checkout. And again, if you're picking and choosing through that list individually of what you may or may not want, people are still buying stuff. 
and it still could potentially go back out of stock from what's even displaying on this page. So every time you hit that continue to check out, it runs through that inventory check again. And if something again sold out, it would pop back up and list what was then out of stock for you to adjust. And it'll keep doing that until everything's happy and send you on to the checkout page. And so we'll go ahead and just check out real quick. And another interesting need that this client has is they have a, so Exponential has proprietary POS system and all of these merchants or franchisees at their stores had to, once they ordered stuff, to put it in their POS system would have to manually just line by line enter in the variant size, you know, quantity that they have. And it was a pretty tedious process. Uh, but there is a way to bulk upload it into that system through an Excel file. So what we did was once they check out, uh, we have another script that runs in the middleware that runs through their order, pulls out all the products, the variants, and it builds an Excel file and it saves it to a web server for these folks to access, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so when they get their confirmation email, down here at the bottom, there is a link to this Excel file. Um, already in a template, it has their order number and their uh, customer ID. So they kind of keep track of what it's for. And it's just a basic, Excel file, um, however that POS specified it needed to be. And they can just take this and upload it in one shot and not have to worry about, you know, going line by line by line. Uh, so those are a few um, needs and wants that we had from this client to help make the lives of their franchisees in a B2B world uh, operate faster and more efficiently. And I'll kick it back over to Andrew for the other sites. Awesome. Thanks, Corbin. Um, I, let's go ahead and address some of these questions real quick so they don't get lost at the end. Um, looks like Matt said, what method do you use to add the products to cart? That was insanely fast. And thanks for that compliment, Matt. <laughs> yeah, so those are all happening um, through the REST API. We have a, a middleware running on a Google server that this cart or the bulk order page is kind of um, is talking to you the whole time. So it'll just do a bulk API call and add everything to the cart. Yeah, we used to have a method a few years ago where it would take a good, you know, 30 seconds maybe to build the cart, but this one, it would do it line by line, but this one just dumps them all and just creates the cart right then. So yeah, it's it's been a super great experience, for, uh, user experience for us to upgrade to that new method uh, when we put it in a few years ago. So, yeah, I mean, this I mean, my, my camera back on because I'm talking. Um, yeah, so this site has really improved, like as Corbin said, the lives of the franchisees um, for Exponential because some of these people own several stores, so they don't have time or have time to pay someone to, you know, type in data entry for line after line once they get their products in for that last one we showed for the Excel file or place the order in general. Um, and our bulk order system also allows them to place their orders more quickly for these items at exponential sales that are, uh, limited edition. So that's really where they, um, wanted us to build that, that special inventory checker was these limited edition things. So let's say there's a hundred, you know, club Pilates locations out there and they only have a thousand of these shirts. Well, they're going to tell all these franchisees, these shirts go on sale at 9am. Well, that means a ton of these people are getting errors in their cart that says, and eh, one of these things is out of stock in your cart, figure it out. And that was super frustrating. They'd missed a special item and then they couldn't place their order at all. So the, the app or the customization that we put in there really helped streamline that process. And we haven't heard any complaints after we put that in as far as, uh, you know, people not being able to get limited edition stuff. So, um, so thanks for that, Corbin. And then one other one I want to talk about exponential for it. We don't really have a visual on um, is because a lot of these things for B2B that we do when we were, when we're coming up with this presentation, we're struggling to find examples because a lot of our B2B stuff we do is just not presentation friendly. It's not like, here's a great looking site. It's kind of a bunch of background nerdy stuff that is hard to just loop into a presentation. And one of those is uh, drop shipping. So everybody knows about drop shipping. Um, 
and Exponential wanted to start drop shipping a few of their uh, really heavy items that they didn't want in their warehouse. Well, their system, they came to me and they said, Andrew, we're going through every order manually. <laughs> we're watching for them. And if the order contains a product that I need to drop ship, I am manually writing an email to our distributor. I am typing everything and I'm hitting send and that is dragging down my day. So we wrote a customization where if a particular product needs to be drop shipped, we have a custom field that you fill out on that product. You put in drop ship as the custom field value. I'm sorry, as the as the label and the value for that custom field is the email address that you want that product uh, sent to as a drop ship. So let's say an order comes in, it has six items in the in the in the, in the order, and two of them are drop ship, and they're, maybe they're two separate drop shippers. Uh, two emails will be created, one for each of those products, sent off to the drop shipper automatically. The client, uh, the store owner, exponential is also CC'd on those, and then the process is automated. So it's not as um, I don't know sexy or as automated as let's say an API, but this is what the client wanted to do. Uh, this is what their distributors were expecting was, was an email, but you know, we could do a multitude of implementations for this and send it to any system they wanted, but they just wanted an email. So that was another cool one that we did for them. And let me share my screen and I'll hop into the next one. All right. So these guys soft shirts, let me get rid of all my zoom stuff here. All right, stop shirts. So this is another bulk order form I'm gonna show you guys. So I don't wanna bore you with too many bulk order forms, but uh, this one's pretty cool in that it's mainly, it was a B2, uh, B2B site first, then they wanted to open it up for B2C. Um, and then this latest implementation we did, we made it feel like more B2C for the B2B customers. So these people who are placing bulk orders, usually screen printers who wanna buy thousands of shirts at once, had a decent experience. It was a little bit nicer than the exponential one, but it wasn't up to like our standards that we like to do for uh, our normal sites. So we made them a really nice looking theme and uh, still included the B2B functionality in there. But just like exponential, it's it's hidden behind a login screen. So you have to be part of a particular customer group in order to see this. So this one, this client manufactures blank t-shirts. So any of these t-shirts may come in a multitude of, as you can see, a multitude of colors and sizes. So if I was placing a bulk order, it would be nearly impossible for me just to say, you know, go down each of these colors and each of these sizes and so select a quantity, hit add to cart, you know, a million times. So uh, for those who are logged into the wholesale group, we have this order in bulk form. Some cool little uh, features we got on this one that are different from the exponential one is you type in your quantity here and it has the available quantity as well. So 272 for this aqua extra small. Let's say I type in 280. It automatically makes my or reduces my input to the available quantity. Um, I put in 500 for that one, it tells me the remainder I have. So you notice it went from 587 to 87 down there. We'll just fill out a couple of these real quick. Get some various colors in here. Show you guys what this looks like. Hit add all to bag, it uses that same uh, quick add to cart that we showed you guys for the other site. One cool thing about these guys that we did for the cart page is we actually organize everything by that parent product. So for those familiar with big commerce, you would probably assume when I added all those things to cart, it would just be a super long list on the cart page. And it'd be very hard to see which of these variants are attached to this parent because you'd have 200 vintage short sleeve repeated 20 times and then you have to read each variant. So we basically, did, we just did some customization to make the cart page look a little bit nicer when you're using the wholesale form. So you have the product, parent product only repeated once with the variants repeated on the side here. So you can easily tell that these variants are part of this parent product. And if you scroll down, this is another parent product that I added to the cart last night. So everything is easily organized uh, and, and looks good there. Of course, you can do all the regular, you know, editing on cart that you normally do um, on a regular cart page. All right. So one thing else I want to show you guys is another client of ours called Ice Cobotics. So these guys are, um, parent company is based in Hong Kong, and they also have another division in China, Europe, and America. So they're super global. And um, it's actually the second or third iteration we've done of their site. And this one's super exciting because it's B2B and it's also headless. So it's built with BigCommerce as the backend, 
and Shogun front end, Shogun's product called front end as the front end. So uh, Shogun is, it was called front end as a service. So for those familiar with the headless architecture, um, you know, it's kind of wild west, west right now. You can have, make your own stack. You have to be responsible for what front end, I mean, for framework you decide on, uh, you know, a CDN. Um, it's just, it's, it's very intimidating sometimes if you, if, if you're just wanting to jump right into headless to make your own stack and basically be a server admin all of a sudden. So we like Shogun because it provides all that in one package. You pay a monthly fee, they provide you with a, a development interface, they provide you with the CDN, they provide you with uh, ways to build the site, um, all sorts of features like that. So um, ICE was the second client that we launched on, on Shogun. And these guys sell, as you can tell by this video that's been playing, uh, automatic cleaning robots. So basically it's like a Roomba on steroids. <laughs> so uh, instead of, uh, instead of you know just a tiny little machine it's a really big one and it travels throughout you know huge buildings and skyscrapers and that's what these guys are meant for so one cool thing about this site is that it's no um it's b2b but it feels like b2c just like the other one but there is no checkout like i mentioned at the beginning so we have this flow where it says do you want to pick your subscription and you can choose equipment let's say i want to add this machine well, actually I want two of them. I want to add this machine, et cetera. Go to your plan. That's my, has, this is basically the cart page. So it has a subscription, it has a summary of my subscription that I've chosen, my selected equipment. And this is purely we're using uh, Shogun's cart and which attaches to the big commerce cart. So these items are actually in cart. Uh, so there's three items in cart, the subscription and the two selected equipments. Uh, but instead of having a checkout button, we actually have a lead generated form here. So um, you fill out some basic information, hit get started. This pumps it over to the ISIS Cobotic sales team, who then interacts with the client and closes the deal. Uh, these machines and their subscriptions have a lot of nuances in them that are still kind of hard to sell online, but they knew they needed a web portal to kind of get, uh, to kickstart the sales process. Uh, this way, the the customer knows, you know, I can interact with an online catalog, I can read, I can self-serve. And then once I'm interested, I can engage with the salesman. So imagine the sales process without this, it would be very disjointed and not as fluid. And I think not as convincing. The salesman would have to say, well, let me send you this site. Let me send you this uh, PDF. Let me, you know, interact with you and, and inform you versus this way, the customer can inform themselves in a DIY manner at their own pace, when they're ready, they engage in the sales lead and then ICE Cobotics takes over and closes the deal from there. Um, so yeah, this one's um, unique, like I said, in that it's built on Shogun, but it has big commerce as the back end, uh, but it's also B2B too. Um, yeah, and let me check my notes here. One second, everybody. Awesome. I kind of breezed through that one and I told Corbin that uh, I wanted his contribution on ice, but I went ahead and took the mic on all that. Uh, Corbin, was there anything on ice that I, that I missed? No, that's pretty much uh, most of it. Uh, it does have a quiz feature where you can kind of answer um, questions. And what it'll do is there are equipment attached to those questions. So as you go through, so it's kind of like what industry are you in? What's the size of your building? How many days do you clean? Oh yeah, I totally and, skipped the wizard. Thank you. Yeah, we, we, we have a wizard on this page too that, that helps you walk through and figure out which products are best for you as well. So. Yeah, when you get to the end of that, it'll display, you know, these are the products based on the criteria that uh, would be good, a good fit for you. And then you can then choose to add them or not to your cart and go through that flow that Andrew showed you. Yeah, so a lot of these, um, a lot of these things that we build for people, even for B2B sites, may seem have their origins in B2C. I mean, everybody's seen a, a wizard before, right? So, um, but it's, it's applying these B2C, traditionally B2C functions into a B2B world and make them work for those, for those people ordering. So imagine you're sitting at a desk and you're tasked with ordering merchandise for your company. And, you know, the writing is on the wall that those people want it to be more of a B2C experience rather than B2B. So that's why we're trying to serve up these really nice visual experiences um, 
you know, make them feel like, just make it feel like a more retail experience. Now, contrast that with Exponential. Uh, these franchise, franchise, these owners have to order from Exponential. They don't have a choice. So there's no point in the site looking nice. <laughs> it's just a bulk order form. But for soft shirts and ice robotics, those customers do have choices. And so we want them to be having more B2C experience, more of a market, more of a traditional marketing while you, uh, while you sort of feel there. So yeah, um, check if there's any questions we need to answer. Appreciate the compliment, Jonathan. Uh, and yeah, Tony, we, um, it's, I'm glad you said that because uh, that you've never seen a bulk order form because we're, Corbin and I were making this presentation and I was like, am I just gonna show a million bulk order forms? I don't wanna bore people with that. So I'm glad you guys uh, <laughs> were impressed by that. Um, but yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for the attention and thanks for inviting us, uh, Andrew and Tony and happy to answer any questions. If anybody has got any questions, if they want to put them in the Q&A, I have got and I, know, I didn't mean to take the mic from you, Andrew, if that was your job to then take the chat questions and answer them. I thought I'd uh, go ahead. No, you're okay. Not, not, <laughs> not a problem at all. Um, I think everybody's just lusting over your site, so you look absolutely stunning. Um, oh, thank you. I'll pass that on to can... our designer, Greg. He's, uh, he's um, always looking for positive feedback like that, so uh, appreciate that, everybody. That's cool. Um, one question I was going to ask was, um, yeah. so obviously you've said what can business to business um, is a bit of a different beast to work in B2C, which we're probably used to. Um, have you had to make any changes into the way, like the way that you test stores or like, um, yeah, the way that you kind of test the store prior to kind of passing it over to customers and, and working with them that way? Has there been many changes? Hmm. I'd say not really. Maybe the only thing we be different is just kind of hit it harder. <laughs> that means that makes sense. So normally in a site, if we test it uh, and it's kind of um, uh, like a due diligence test to see if we if the site can support everything we're doing, you know, a, a retail customer is not going to add a 200 items to their cart. But for these sites, like the exponential one, these carts are enormous. When the orders come in, there's hundreds of products on them. So in that sense, yeah, I guess the, the testing or the delivery before that would be more like can all of our customization in this site handle a huge order? Are there any mm. weird bugs that are coming up because there's so many things trying to be added to the cart or getting to check out? Uh, one kind of uh, rub that we come into sometimes with Exponential is shipping. So with these large, large orders, FedEx kicks back and says, hey, I don't have a rate for that because there's a cutoff at hundred pounds. Well, and, the, and I'm gonna get super nerdy with you guys on this. And then in the settings of big commerce, there's a checkbox that says treat everything in this order is one box or treat everything in the order is separate. Well, no one does the separate. You have a hundred boxes and the shipping quote would be a million dollars and that's silly. So that's always checked as one. But if you have hundred items in cart, there's a max size box that FedEx can fit in their truck. So little things like that, where we have to then go over to a rate table, make sure that rate table works for all of these stores. Exponential has 10 stores that we manage now. So we can make sure that all those settings are aligned and uh, for all 10 stores. So um, yeah, that makes it a little different, but something that makes it kind of a little bit easier too is um, for Exponential, all of these themes are cloned. So it's just one master theme that we have that we apply to all the stores. And if they want certain features turned on or off, we just have a toggle for that store inside of the master theme. Um, so most of the stores are pretty homogenous, but there are subtle nuances between them that we can toggle on and off depending on the store. So it's quite handy. Uh, Jonathan's popped into the chat there. He says, uh, do you typically use bundle B2B um, for B2B clients or do you have a different implementation? You know, we started doing a lot of our B2B stuff before B2B bundle came out. So there are there is some overlap between what we can offer and what we've made custom for our clients and what the B2B bundle offers. Um, now it's a great suite. Um, I have used it a little bit before, um, but we haven't had any clients uh, come out right up and ask us for it. Um, usually, um, but yeah, there are there are some things in there that are super handy. Um, and I'm, I'm glad Big Commerce acquired them and they're part of the team now and congrats to them and everything. So yeah, I look forward to that even being more integrated into the Big Commerce system than it is now. But um, yeah, we're kind of a custom dev shop a lot of the time. So we don't really, um, I will use something if it's invented. I don't like reinventing the wheel, but a lot of our clients come to us for a very specific niche need. Um, and so we usually just solve those ourselves. But if someone needed it, of course, I'd say, hey, go ahead and use Bundle B2B. Sure. Perfect. If 
there's no more questions. I mean, we can we can pop them in the chat, right? If there's anything further, I'll That's catch great. up with you guys in Slack. Thank you both Thank you, very sir. much. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks, Thanks for having us.